Okay, everyone. Hello. Uh, my name is Adam. I'm from the UK. Um, I thought I'd do a little unboxing video of the Flow Motion. It finally arrived. Crikey, I've been waiting quite a long time. I was quite late down in the queue, um, but I've been waiting probably a year and a half for this or so. Um, I kind of uh, just sort of put it to the back of my mind, really. So it's finally here. So I'm going to do a little video um, of the unboxing, uh, and then I'll also upload some testing. Uh, the reason that I got the flow motion is I do uh, a quite an unusual sport. I'm a, a boomerang thrower. Uh, we compete all over the world. Um, so getting some really cool, stable footage, um, particularly during competition, is uh, the main reason I ordered this device. So um, I hope you enjoy this uh, short video. Thank you. Okay, so uh, I've just uh, opened up the top of the box. And uh, what we are left with in here is... Uh, a little bit of covering cardboard and then some bubble wrap and uh, I actually ordered the pole as well so I'm guessing uh, the um, pole will be in here so that's your looks quite nice it's a very nice box it's um, kind of reminds me of the old Apple boxes a little bit so sort of quite high sort of quality looking um, and very well packaged so yeah I quite like the look of that so there's my extension pole for holding the the flow motion device. Okay, so what are we left with? Uh, so here we have the uh, main flow motion device. So uh, I'll just uh, pause the video so I can take off the bubble wrap. Okay, so the bubble wrap's off, and uh, here we have the, the flow motion box finally. First impressions, without looking at anything, is um, very, very nice packaging. I really like this, it looks really cool. Um, a lot of thought's gone into this. It looks uh, it looks really high quality. Um, I really hope the uh, the device uh, lives up to the packaging. So it looks really really good. I think you can see that there, sort of catching it in the sun there. So that's uh, that's kind of the embossed uh, description. Flow Motion One smartphone stabilizer uh, on the back of the box. Yeah, just a little bit there uh, about the device. So yeah, it looks it looks really nice. I've got to say. Okay, so uh, let's get into this baby. So I'll just slit open the little seal there. Okay. Oh look, there's a little red tag here. So I guess you've got to tug this. Um, so just sorry about this. Let's give that a pull. All right. So okay, it slides open to reveal uh, the contents, uh, obviously. So again, really nice case. Yeah, I like the look of that. Um, so in my mind, I'm thinking, how do I travel with this um, when I go go abroad? Um, possibly fit this in my uh, hand luggage, I think. It's not very wide. Uh, so yeah, it looks quite cool. I like the look of that. And again, it's got this nice kind of embossed logo. So everything about this so far has said um, good quality. I really like the packaging on this. It's not, not just been thrown together. It, it looks pretty good. Um, inside the rest of the box, got a little... Uh, Little leaflet there, um, whatever that's about. Oops. Um, yeah, I'll look at that later. So, so that's what's inside the box. Nothing else in there. Okay. So uh, let's come to unzipping the actual device. So let's just go around the side here. <laughs> okay. Sorry, trying to do this one-handed. I know I should get a tripod really, but hey. All right. So let's unzip. Okay, so what have we got in here? So here's the uh, flow motion device. Uh, it's nicely padded out. So this doesn't remove. This is a bit of foam here, so that obviously stays where it is. So underneath here, uh, some sort of screw cap, which is probably for the um, for the handling pole, I guess. Uh, it sort of leads and stuff there. Um, and then here we come with the actual unit. Okay, so first impressions are it's reasonably heavy um, which is probably a good thing I guess um, so I'm going to have a quick look to see how you turn this thing on and then I'll uh, continue with uh, with the uh, introduction to this uh, device okay I don't know if you can read that there this uh, just warns you never to power on without inserting your phone um, yeah I hope that button can't be accidentally pressed which kind of worries me um, I'm, I'm sure it'll be fine uh, and then this here, kind of, what's that about? That's saying, 
uh, or how to insert the phone. So that's kind of what's on here at the moment. Uh, so let's get this uh, uh, worked out how, how we connect the phone up and then I'll, I'll come back to filming. Okay, so what I've got here is um, I've got an old uh, Galaxy S6 Edge, which I've just clipped onto here, actually. It's, it's quite a snug fit. Uh, obviously, the S6 Edge is, is pretty wide. Uh, the phone goes in through these two clips here. Um, so, uh, But what I need to do first is, is charge this device up. So uh, the instructions, the quick start guide, does say uh, to fully charge the battery uh, before its uh, first use. So the uh, the charging uh, unit uh, port is just in there. Um, uh, the battery actually is uh, there's a, there's a cover here, and you just pull it across like that, and it's a sort of um, rechargeable uh, battery pack, and which looking at this with you know, usual lithium iron battery. So that's where the uh, actual battery goes. It slips in quite neatly into there. Okay, so uh, I'm going to get this uh, charged up, uh, and then we'll come back. Okay, so I've just connected this to an iPad charger that I've got here. Um, the actual business end here um, is very similar to a, like a Galaxy S9 or S8 uh, type connector. Um, in fact, I might as well show you. So it's it's the connector that kind of looks like, if you can focus on that, that. All right, so I don't know if it is exactly the same as my phone one, but uh, anyway, so that pops in there to charge. And there is a charging indicator here, so that's... That's currently showing a sort of kind of a green. Uh, I don't know if that means it's fully charged. Uh, and also at the same time, we've got some couple of lights have appeared on here. Uh, so it looks like there's three lights under the little battery icon. So kind of guessing when it's fully charged, uh, all three of those LEDs come on. So currently it's showing two LEDs. So once it gets to three, we'll come back. Yeah, I'm back again. Uh, it actually didn't take long to charge at all, <clears throat> so this has arrived at my home virtually fully charged. I think I had it on charge for about two or three minutes. So uh, looking at the instructions, and basically what you need to do now, and here's my here's my sort of uh, standby phone. This is my old uh, trusty Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. Uh, so it's quite a big phone, this one. Uh, first thing you need to do is balance the, uh, the phone. So I've just given it a quick try. Uh, and I think I've worked out this is what you need to do. So these scripts, uh, clips, I beg your pardon, are quite um, quite strong actually. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, just pop the phone in here. It's a little bit tricky with one hand, <laughs> okay, but it's reasonably easy to do. So there you go. So that's how the phone goes in. Uh, now balancing the phone, I, I think what that means, it says here, or without powering on the, the unit, adjust the mobile phone sideways until the phone is balanced. Um, the phone stays in a horizontal position without your support when it's properly balanced. So you can see at the moment that clearly is a little bit wobbly. So I've worked out, it just takes a real simple push. Uh, it just slides up and down dead easy in here. Um, and that's roughly, I think I worked it out, uh, that's roughly the position for for this this phone. I'll just stop that for a moment. Okay, so yeah, I kind of worked out that that's kind of the best position. So this is quite a large phone, this. And you can see there's some little marks on here. Uh, it's sort of a sliding scale, which shows. Uh, so for, for this fairly large phone, um, that's kind of the spot that I need to get to get it uh, balanced in the horizontal position. I think that's what it means. Uh, let's go on to the next step and see what happens next. Okay, so what it's asking me to do next is to power the unit on. So I guess I have to remove this tape now. Uh, I must remember, it's obviously quite important that. So again, it says never power on without inserting your phone. Uh, so I've got the phone inserted. So I'm going to I'm gonna power this on now. So which I'm guessing is, uh, oh it is, is this button here. Okay, so... Okay, so you can see what happened there. It immediately uh, went into the uh, stable position. So the unit is now on, um, as indicated, I guess, by these lights here. So there's your power light, if you can see that there. Um, and there's two other LED lights there. Um, what it's saying next is to enable Bluetooth on your smartphone. Uh, now, I haven't actually loaded uh, the app onto my spare phone because uh, I hadn't realised I had to do that. Clearly you have to. 
So I'll quickly pause the video uh, whilst I get the, the thing loaded on. Okay, everybody, I've just uh, opened my phone up. Uh, so the Flow Motion app uh, is on the Play Store. So let's get that loaded up. Okay, get that installed onto the phone. Okay. Okay, there's a slight pause there. It's a seven megabyte download, so it's quite small. Uh, and now it's um, okay. So I'm going to I'm going to open the app and turn the device on again. Okay, it says launch the Flow Motion app. The app will automatically connect to your Flow Motion One. Okay, so this is the uh, device uh, switched on. Um, the app asks for the usual permissions uh, with the phone. Uh, Bluetooth is obviously enabled on the phone as well. Uh, so I'm, I'm guessing this is now connected. It seems to be. Uh, so, I mean, what I want to do really is, is start doing uh, a bit of filming down on my field. So that'll be my next step. So I'm going to take this down to my local field and uh, do a bit of running around and uh, see and see how this looks. Uh, but just for now, just to, to summarise, this feels like a really, really nice quality device. Really well built. Um, the handle's made of plastic. Uh, these bits here are metal. Um, the, the actual device that clips the phone looks really strong and sturdy. Um, the packaging looks it's gorgeous. And so far, uh, this does look like a rather a nice bit of kit that did take such an awful long time to get here. So I do hope it works well um, and I will post a video shortly of how I get on.